my point of view, teaching is interesting because you can teach students things that will be helpful for them in understanding the world around us, and particularly in this class, understand some basic economic concepts and how they apply to society and really help understand what drives environmental policy and why it fails and why it succeeds. In particular, you focus on relevant events and problem-solving issues and how to focus on people's different incentives in the environmental arena. So for instance, uh, this summer, summer of 2009, there are big arguments coming out of Washington, D.C. about a cap-and-trade bill for carbon emissions to deal with the problems of climate control, of climate change. And there are an awful lot of economic issues around here. How to set up a program to reduce carbon emissions at the lowest cost, who to hand out the rights to admit carbon to, but also there's a lot of political issues. You might think that people who are in support of carbon carbon restraints are good guys and people who oppose it are bad guys, but actually any policy has a variety of mixes. And you can be sure about one thing in Washington, D.C., that there might be some people interested in the private public interest, but there are a lot of people interested in their own private interest. 30 seconds. I think you should take this course. Why? First, you'll understand how free markets work and how they generate wealth for society. Second, you'll understand how free markets don't work and how they imply that we should have government solutions. Third, you'll learn about how governments, unfortunately, aren't the perfect instrument to solve our society's economic problems. And finally, you'll learn how to apply this into a variety of circumstances. And through this course, you'll learn a lot about how the real world actually works.